Tom Daly. And Daniel Goodfellow, bronze medalist from Rio. Fourth at the World Championships. And they start with an inward. Inward one and a half um, Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. And that takeoff was perfect. It looked like Dan might have travelled away from the platform a little bit, the one furthest from camera. Which you can only tell just in the last part of the dive. I think Dan might have been slightly under-rotated as well, but... They rotated around at the same time. They both had fantastic entries. It's good. How good? Tom, Tom doesn't seem all that thrilled. Slight delay with the scores coming up. Maybe that's the concern on Tom Daly's face. The scores are through now, though, to 51. So an eight and eight and a half execution. Eight, two eight and a halves and a nine synchronisation for Daly and Goodfellow. And now the young teammates here. 17-year-olds Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams. Lovely start for their campaign here at the Commonwealth Games. No nerves there. Yeah, great start for these uh, youngsters, the 17-year-olds, uh, 50.4. So, yes, indeed, they are scoring higher than their more illustrious counterparts. As we have a look at the standings after the first round, the first thing good fellow do here, uh, 3.4. <coughs> reverse three-and-a-half somersault tuck. Interestingly, these boys have the same total degree of difficulty yep. as the Australians. One, two, three, All of their hard times. <laughs> That's a good dive from both of the British boys. Not amazing, not bad, just good. Sometimes that's all you need to do. But the these boys do have the same overall DD with all of their big dives as the Australians, but in different combinations. So they're doing different dives, but they do add up to the same. So it'll be interesting to see who actually does come out on top. This was a 3.4. They'll finish with 3.6 and 3.7. The next to 3.2. It's a 77.52. So they jump up over the top at the moment. The pressure's building here. Now Dixon and Williams. Three and a half solid. Yep. One, two, three, go. Oh! Beautiful dive. Absolutely rock solid, that one. <laughs> Look at this speed here from these divers coming out, giving themselves plenty of time. And Houdini act on the bottom. Seven, seven and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half. Well, they're, they're the youngsters. They're the next breed there of English divers. Dixon and Williams, the 17-year-olds, 80.64. 80.64. Yeah, After three rounds, we're halfway through the final. Dixon and Williams take over from Daly and Goodfellow. So, Daly and Goodfellow. Well, momentarily, they're on top of the standings. They're pushed down to second by their English teammates, Dixon and Williams. This is 3.2, inward three and a half, somersault tuck. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Sensational. What a dive. What a time to bring that one out in this final. Been waiting for it. Here they are, good kick out. Strong entries from both of them, rip entries. That will propel them up 
up into the lead. I'm sure that was a great dive for them. Let's have a look at the scores then. Tom Daly, Daniel Goodfellow. And there's eight and eight and a half. So 78, 72. And they are here. What about the youngsters? Dixon and Williams. Leading at the halfway point, this is a 3.3. Back three and a half somersault, tuck. Yep. One, two, three, go. Incredible dive from the yes! It's not as high a degree of difficulty dive as what the Australians and the other British team are going to do. They're both going to do this dive in pike, but sometimes these dives are just so impressive when both the divers absolutely drill the entry. It does lose some of its potency when only one of them rips the entry and the other one doesn't, so they've both absolutely drilled it. And they are back on the four rounds. Dixon and Williams with a five-point break over Daly and Goodfellow, Bedgefield and Stacey. Well, they're 19 points off the lead now. And Higley and Thompson at 240. Uh, here's Tom Daly. Won the gold medal in Delhi, Silver Glasgow. Won an individual gold medal, of course, back in Rome, 2009. Ready? Yeah. There's still only One, 23. Two, three, go. Yeah. Yeah! That is the entry that we expect to see from Tom Daly. It is perfect. He's dead, dead straight. This dive requires so much ab strength. Dead straight there. Beautiful knee save. Impeccable entry from Tom Daly. Dan has done a little bit of a splashy. That could be the dive that pulls them away from the rest of the uh, competition. That gives them that redemption from that stolen gold in Glasgow in 2014. 90.72 there. Dixon and Williams now. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, and the other English pair who are in the lead going into this round. They're not out of it. They're both moving away from the platform here. They're quite a long way, but they both do it together. They're both moving away. Good speed, good timing. That will keep them right up there. Won't be as high scoring as their compatriots before, but polished dive. 65.7, so compared to the low 90s of Daly and Goodfellow, they've dropped a lot of ground there. 325.11 after it's one round remaining. And Daly and Goodfellow, the bronze medalists from the Olympics, have opened up a very handy break over Dixon and Williams, Javelin and Jaya Surya, Bedgegood, Stacey, 307. They're 37 points behind. And Higley and Thompson at 297. Same score there, pretty much, for Hattie and Williams, a fraction of a second. The two English pairs to come. First of all, Daly and Goodfellow. They've got a big dive here, at 3.74. Forward, four and a half somersault. <coughs> We've set up the drama rama. They're only 53 points yep. behind this Australia. Was, this was their undoing four years ago. <laughs> Tom's was awesome. Well, Tom's was awesome, but we see furthest from the camera. Daniel just comes out shorter and really pikes out. There's a bit of a racing dive on the entry. So obviously his execution scores will be lower. It won't help the synchronised scores as well. A score of anything over about 55, they're still in the gold medal position. Despite missing this dive, they should be okay to jump over Bedgwood and Stacey. I think it's going to be close. A 61.05, and they take over the gold medal position, despite the drama. Well done for the English boys. And now these English boys to follow up Tom Daly and Goodfellow. And to score anything over 80 will be enough for these guys to snatch the gold from Daly and Goodfellow. Which is absolutely achievable with this dive if they both... Ready? 
do yep. what they're used to doing. One, two, three. thing that might be their undoing is that how far out one of them was so there is quite a lot of space in between them but look at those entries they hit it exactly the same time but as matt said the distance between them will that be good enough yeah they may have just missed out daly and goodfell i think they've done enough to win the gold medal here and I think that's the way it's going to turn out as we await the scores here for Dixon and Williams. Dixon and Williams, 74-88, they finish with the silver. So Tom Daly and Daniel Goodfellow will claim the gold medal here over their teammates, Dixon and Williams, and the bronze will go to Betchwood and Stacey. What a final, what drama in the last round. But it's the superstar, Tom Daly. At 23 years of age, the world individual champion, and he just keeps racking up the titles. The silver medal in Glasgow, the winner in Delhi, and now he's a champion again, this time with Daniel Goodfellow, the bronze medalist from the last Olympics. Tom, even with his oh, very yeah. limited preparation and his hip injury, he's just so <laughs> consistent. He's one of those divers that has impeccable aerial awareness and just puts it on his head every single time. He's got the most impressive entry in the world. <laughs> what a competition. Let's recap the results. Such drama. Daly and Goodfellow, 405-81. They just missed the medals at the last World Championships. They took the silver medal at the Rio Olympics, and here they are, the gold medalists here on the Gold Coast at the Commonwealth Games. And what a performance by the 17-year-old.